All right, guys and girls, this is joining up here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of the world, new subscribers, old subscribers. Imagine going into World War One and World War Two and taking a Bluetooth speakers into them ages and taking like uh, I'm gonna get the hat and show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna confuse anyone. Just give me a second. Sorry about that, guys and girls, like boys and girls. What I was saying is about the war in the olden days. Imagine taking these technologies to them, showing them these hats in World War One and World War Two, and uh, telling them they got Bluetooth on a actual hat, which is uh, this hat here, Bluetooth, and they would they probably laugh and think you can't see with a Bluetooth hat. I'm giving them a few of these. Why don't the army wear these sorts of hats when they're on patrol? They probably do. They probably don't. Why don't ambulance people and nurses and fire brigades wear these? Or they walk around with Bluetooths in their hats. As you can see here. Very good idea. Some people agree. Some people won't. But at least you get a USB to charge your hat up. Very good idea. But the thing is when I'm getting to this... People that work on lorry drivers, people that work at anything, should always carry these so they can actually see where they're going. It makes sense, doesn't it, guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen? Would you agree? Would you not? Some people will just manage how it is to see the street lights. I've just turned the TV over and uh, let's put it back onto the PlayStation. But another thing as well, we're helping the Ukrainians fighting in a war. But the thing is, if we're helping them train in a war, why can't we fight beside them? It's not our fight. One day we'll we be fighting with the Ukrainians. One day will something actually kick off in the UK and the Ukrainians will come back to the UK and help us fight in the war. Or is it just our war against Russia? Will Russia actually try and invade the UK as well? Will Russia actually try and bomb the UK from the top in the skies like Germany did in World War One and World War Two, And... Uh, We'll see Russia bombing the UK. Could it happen? Put it would it not? Will Russia come over by boats? Which they were saying, I saw something about Ireland. Apparently Russia are bullying Ireland. And apparently Ireland may go into the war zones to help fight Russia against... Uh, I mean, sorry, not help, help fight Ukraine against Russia in a war. Will that happen? Or is it just people saying that? Why can't we go in there and help, help the Ukrainians fight against Russia? Not our war, fair enough. But I, I'm pretty sure that the British and the Americans are on the border of uh, Ukraine or other parts. I don't know. I don't really follow a lot about war, which some people say. I watch a lot of war stuff, I do. It's always changing all the time with war things. But do we nearly re need to get repaired in the UK for war? Who knows? We probably don't. We're probably just worrying over nothing, guys and girls, ladies and boys and girls. Um, some people overthink themselves like I do. We, we can all do that, but uh, I mean, if they've invaded uh, Ukraine, then they invaded Poland, Russia, then it wasn't the missile. Ukrainian shot the missile down into into Poland. I don't know. I mean, I'm just thinking all these things in my head, guys. Goes those gentlemen could actually NATO and Russia go to war properly? Will they make another mistake? Even though it wasn't their mistake, it was Ukrainians. I'm sorry for changing the thing slightly. I'm just trying to get my words out in edgeways. Sometimes I'm a bit behind with words, that's just me. I talk about different subjects because uh, that's what I do. Some people talk about the same thing, it doesn't really matter. We are what we are in this world. Not everybody understands us. I'm just thinking on the guidelines of uh, should we be prepared to get ready for World Russia because uh, we're only a small island. Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales. Who would defend us? Would uh, Switzerland defend us? Would uh, what's Switzerland, uh, Norway, USA, Australia, Canada, France would they defend us? Spain, Germany. 
where Germany actually come back to the UK and start coming over trying to blow up the Russians and everything else. What would you guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, think? Are we really heading for something we don't really want or we don't like? Could be a possibility, couldn't it? We've got all these gangs and idiots in the world and uh, people that are using people, people that are robbing people, people that are stealing people, people that are shooting people, stabbing people. It's horrible. The world we're living we all know that, and uh, it wouldn't all surprise me if people walk around with uh, uh, screen masks on and um, f screen masks on, ghost faced masks on, and dressing up as Michael Myers or Jason out of all these horror films. I mean, people could do that in real life. They're probably actually going around in real life, going around killing innocent people, is what some people do, and you don't know about it, or you do know, and then it's too late. Or they do prank calls. If you've ever seen the film called Scream, they always do seem to do prank calls on people, on innocent people. And everybody else thinks they're going crazy. And then they know, know that until the time runs out, then they'll find out who's done it. It's, it's possible in probably other worlds. I don't know where. But it's, it's happening all the time. People are getting killed every day. Every other day, every other week, every other year. You never know what's going on in this world. Don't associate yourself with wrong people. How would you know if they're the wrong people? You don't. Just keep yourself safe. But sometimes these sort of people target people if they're on their own or by themselves or got no family or see a weakness in people. Some people are stronger than you think. But uh, like I say, that's all I can really say in this video, guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, thank you for all joining me and I'll see you next one. Tell me what you think. Will there be time machines one day? Will there not be? You just have to wait and see. And we could take all our technology back to the olden days and they're probably solid and uh, they'll be more advanced. Even though you never know. Thank you for joining this video. Take it easy, peace.